Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's video which is going to be me reacting to my last ever academic results, my end of my degree results, like my final year, final degree results. <laughs> new here I am studying psychology at the University of Warwick. I'm just going to give you like a breakdown of what goes into calculating my final results. So first year doesn't count unfortunately because I got a first. To get a first at Warwick you need 70%. I think I got 74 points something in first year, not that that matters. Second year I got I think it was 60... 69.8 I believe. Yeah I was 0.2 off at first and that counts 40% towards your final mark and third year counts 60%. So I find out tomorrow from 10am so I don't know what time it's going to be but whenever I get the email I will just whack out my camera and open it. I was very unsure whether to film this video because I kind of I'm in two minds about it like I filmed my A-level results, I filmed like getting into uni so I feel like it's kind of quite wholesome and kind of like full circle to film this video and I also love to watch these sorts of videos so if you're anything like me that is why I wanted to film it but I also am nervous for how it goes because if I do well I don't want to come across as like being all braggy but if it goes bad I also will not want to share that so I don't really know what's going to happen but if you're watching this let's just let's just hope that it went okay and I'm happy. I do not know how I've done in all honesty like I genuinely think that this could go either way. I think that throughout the year I was kind of sitting at probably a high 2-1 around that with my assignments. Obviously they're all mixed and they all like weight different like weigh different amounts into your final mark but the exams I have no idea how they went. Some of them, I came out of them and was like, that's absolutely ridiculous. Like, I've just absolutely just not done well at all. For like two of them, maybe even just one of them, I kind of felt okay with. You just never know. And especially with essays, they're so subjective. So like, I have no idea how the, the, how the exams are gonna be marked, but we can, we're gonna try and stay positive and I'm just gonna try and chill for the rest of this evening. I am feeling nervous when I think about it, so I'm just trying not to think about it. Um, I just actually can't believe that it's happening. Like, I think for the past like couple of weeks, I've just been like putting it to the back of my mind and pretending that it's not happening, but it's actually happening tomorrow morning, which is mental. And I do kind of get a wave of like anxiety when I think about it, so, I guess I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and chill, try and get some sleep this evening, and I guess I'll see you <laughs> when I'm opening my results, which is just absolutely mental. Before I go, I hope you enjoy this video. If you are getting your degree results, I hope you're happy with them. I'm wishing you the best of luck. We've got this, and whatever happens, it's just a grade. It's just a number on a piece of paper. We've still got a degree, like, it doesn't matter what grade we get for it and it's just not the end of the world if it doesn't go our way but yeah i will see you tomorrow <laughs> this is so weird Hello everyone, so it is a lot later now. I'm not sure whether I will include the last clip because I'm, honestly I don't know really what I did in it. I think I just sat staring at my phone for ages and then my mum rang and I just burst into tears and just was crying for them the whole rest of the morning basically. But I'm now gonna tell you what you're all waiting for, what you've all clicked on this video for. My overall mark for my whole degree is a 2-1 which I am really, really happy about, I'm proud of. Um, a 2-1 is amazing, but obviously I did have that kind of like initial disappointment because obviously who doesn't want a first? 
But the disappointing thing as well is that if you get 68%, the university will consider your mark and consider moving you up into the, the higher boundary. So they would consider moving me up to a first. However, my overall mark was 67.88. So I'm 0.23 <laughs> away from that 68% where they would consider me to get a first which is just so annoying so frustrating um i think that's kind of what i'm struggling with is that because i'm so close it's like more frustrating i'm now going to give you like a breakdown of all of the marks and everything and how it's been calculated so for my outside module navigating psychopathology i got 69 so a 2 one, 70 is first. For my dissertation, I got 75, so I got a first in that. Perspectives in clinical and counselling psychology, I got 66, so a 2 one. Issues in families and development, I got 60, so only just a 2 one, but that one, that was one of my worst, so that's fine. Um, psychology and the law, I got 61, which I am disappointed with because I thought that was good. However, everybody in that is kind of good at it. So I feel like maybe that was scaled. I don't know, <laughs> um, but that's fine. Attention, I got 67. So I'm happy with that because that was the one that I thought I did the best in as well. And then positive psychology, I got 60, which absolutely expected because that is not my favorite at all. So the overall mark for this year was 66.6 .6, and that weights 60% into the whole grade. And then for last year, my overall mark was 69.8. I don't know how I got better in second year than third year because second year was absolute hell. But <laughs> anyway, second year weights 40%. So overall, I got 67.88. Do you know what's annoying though? The fact that in first year, I got 74.6 and that doesn't weight, like that doesn't get counted into the overall degree like maybe if that was counted I maybe would have got a first I don't even know I just keep beating myself up about like maybe if my dissertation was a little bit better maybe if this exam went a little bit better I've got a first like it's just it's annoying that I'm that close that is everything that is all of my marks um I am very proud and I'm very happy to be graduating with a 2-1 because obviously it's from Warwick like this is this has not been easy it is obviously a hard uni Everyone here is so clever and, you know, I'm kind of like trying to swim to survive amongst everyone who's really clever. But yeah, I am very proud of it. I think it was just the initial disappointment this morning of obviously wanting a first, having like gotten first throughout the year in coursework and through like the exams at the start of the year. And obviously everybody strives to get a first, like there's going to be a little bit of disappointment. But a 2-1 is great and if anybody has got, has got a 2-1, it's still really good. If anyone's got a 2-2, two, two, it's still really good. A third, honestly, it's still great to have gotten a degree and we've got through it. At the end of the day, <laughs> it was a big win for me that I didn't drop out in second year and that I've actually finished the degree anyway. So yeah, I'll be graduating in July. July the 25th is my graduation and I'll be graduating with a 2-1. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you're happy with your results. I really hope you are. You should be so proud of yourself no matter what you got. I'm still proud of myself even though I was disappointed this morning. Like I'm still proud that I've got a degree and you know it's still good. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.